In another video, we combined content from two different columns, last name and social security number, into a single column using the left and right functions, creating an employee ID value. You can see the values now in column D, and when I double click in the cell and display the formula, we see the two functions combined using the ampersand character. It worked well, but what I don't love about the results is that the alpha characters are in the same case they were typed into the source column, column B, and I want them to be in all caps in column D. I don't want the last name column data to be in all caps. I want it to remain in title or proper case, so I need to deal with the case in the employee ID field only. How do we do that? We wrap the existing formula, the set of combined functions, in the upper function. So I'll select the formula in cell D4 and edit it as follows. I start by inserting the word upper between the equal sign and the beginning of the left function and add an opening parenthesis. Then to supply the closing parenthesis for the upper function, inside of which the left and right functions are now nested, I click at the end and type the closing parenthesis. When I press Enter, the alpha characters are now all in caps. I can now drag this down the column with the fill handle to repeat it for everyone in the company, giving them all a much more legible employee ID. Other case controlling functions include lower, which does the opposite of upper, it converts all alpha characters to lowercase, as shown here in this quick demonstration. And then there's proper, which puts the alpha characters in title case, with the first character in caps and the rest in lowercase, as shown here, done to both text that was originally in lowercase and then again on text that was in all caps. Case-changing functions offer you nearly endless potential for greater legibility within your data, especially when working with a combination of numbers and letters.